gardens in you Just another monument to breathe life into Every moment the horizon becomes clear Somehow I just know you still belong here Back to what's happening with DJ Matt and DJ Emily. We <laughs> were just listening to Sea of Faces by our musical guest Justin Fanas. Are you currently a student at the University of Arizona along with us? Or? I am not actually. Okay. I, uh, I did study uh, vocal studies at the music school. I was a music student here and uh, so yeah, it was a good experience definitely. Okay, so are you done with school already or are you just pursuing your musical career? Uh, both. You could. I mean, both. I, I did uh, the, the schooling here um, and then after that, like I said, I, I was pursuing the, uh, music with Diver City, and we were actually pretty close to getting signed to a, li a label. But we we were right there, and like I said, you know, unfortunate things happen. <laughs> Could you ever um, imagine yourself working with behind the scenes stuff? Maybe starting your own recording company or um, producing? Yeah, def an agent. Definitely. Like um, I'm actually going to be starting to learn a little bit of. Uh, Recording engineering here soon nice. um, with with Great White Studio. I've become really good friends with the with the guys who run that, and so um, that was always like I guess you could call it my backup plan. Everybody cool. says yeah. musicians need a backup plan, nice. so yeah, like recording engineering. Hey, that's a lot better than being a server in a restaurant. Definitely, <laughs> like I did, I did that. So, okay. oh yeah, like everyone in yep. Los Angeles or in New York, just I'll struggling just artists. Serve yeah. Nobu and, yeah. and like make there you so go. much money that oh I have. Of course. Now, now, I mean, you know about you, Nobu. <laughs> <laughs> now, you were okay, so you were a music student. That yeah, that's incorporated with you know what you guys are doing. Was it hard though, like with classes in school and the work that you had to do and practicing and, and perfecting your band and in your aspiring career? Like it was awesome to be honest. Like everybody looks at the life of a music student and they're like, oh, it's got to be so easy, right? Like I've got all these crazy classes, but you just have to go and do music all day. It's actually really difficult. I music theory is supposed to be the oh, devil. Yeah. Like it's music ridiculous. theory, I, I don't know how oh you guys do it, but <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it paid off. I was working like 30 hours a week. I used to work in and out. You know, oh, and then, oh wow. and then like balancing that with like fraternity life, I was in ZBT and then, um, and then yeah, working on the music, it was like literally not having any free time ever. Or it was sleep. the best. Or it was sleep. awesome. On the inside of your CD, it says, "In loving memory of Hector Manuel Sanchez III." Who's that? Uh, Hector Sanchez is actually our lead guitar player. Oh. Uh, so yeah, the, kind of a crazy story about the album. We started, like I said, in January, and then in May of last year, he actually passed away in a tragic car accident. And so. Um, well, we're so sorry to hear that. R.I.P. Hector. Yeah, he, he was awesome. I mean, he, he was like the only other co-founder in the band besides me. Is, is this your first CD that you've ever come out with officially, or have you come out with like mixtapes or anything like that? It is. That's actually it. So this is your first one. Um, do you have any future plans? Like, I mean, I'm sure you're, you write music all the time. You're a musician. Um, when would your next album be coming out? And would you be looking for a new? electric guitarist or bassist or are you just going to kind of branch off and do your own yeah i mean i have uh, i have about six years of music that i had written before diver city even came together so um after hector passed away actually you know it became this realization that i needed to have something to leave behind if you know i think anytime somebody passes away you realize how uh incredibly fragile life is so oh, yeah. you know thinking about like okay what if something happened to me, I need to have something to leave behind. So I am actually um, in the works of doing my own solo album, which will be called uh, Before I'm Gone. 